How's it going guys? Mr. Meyer coming to you from the Giant Room Studios, different from the Basement Studios. And the reason we call it the Giant Studios is because when my son was younger, he saw some kind of cartoon and there was a big guy and he had like this huge shadow. And one day he said, hey, go in this room and go get something. I forget what you guys need to get. And he saw a huge shadow and he thought it was the giant. So he said, dad, I can't, there's a giant in there. And from that point forward, we always called this the giant room. So if I ever asked my, my kids to go get something from that, this room, I say, hey, can you go to the giant room and get your Legos or clean up your Legos or go to the couch in the giant room? So it's not because the room is giant, it's really not that big. It's just because my son thought there was a giant in here when he was a lot younger. So that's why we call it the giant room. And now it's the giant room studios. All right, so if I refer to it that, that's what it is. All right, so today we're going to do something similar that we did yesterday because yesterday's Throwback Thursday, and we went all the way back and did the Rock, Paper, Scissor Challenge, was very popular yesterday. So the students that I worked and said, oh, Mr. Mike, can we do something cool like that again, something we've already done? So I said, yes, of course we can. So we're gonna do Throwback Thursdays, but on a Friday. So if you watch America's Funny Some Videos, they do a Throwback Thursday, but on a Sunday. So a Throwback means just going back to what we've done before. So today's gonna be a Throwback Thursday, but on a Friday, because today is Friday, All right? So today we're gonna do the coin flip challenge, and we'll do that together. And remember, if it lands heads, it's worth something. If it lands on tails, it's worth something. And we'll do exercises with that. All right, but the first thing we need to do is get warmed up. So I'm gonna push my chair back of the leg. Make sure I have the coin with me. Yeah, it's with me. All right, first thing we're gonna do is jog in place. So let's get that started and go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. All right, next thing we do is calf raises going up onto the toes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19 and 20. I'm just gonna run forward here. I'm gonna angle the camera up just a little bit. There we go. All right, next thing we'll do is jumping jacks. You ready? And go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. All right, arm circles, arms out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. All right, slalom jumps, jumping side to side. Here we go. One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, and twenty. All right, let's do some forward shoulder raises. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. All right, side lunges. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. 
Uh, let's do some bicep curls. So arms on your side. Pretend you're lifting up something heavy up to your chest. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, and twenty. All right, side bends or penguins. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, and twenty. Last one for the warm-up trunk twists. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, and twenty. All right, let's take a quick seat. We'll go over how the game is going to work. We're going to play two rounds of this game, okay? First round is going to be whatever the, the coin lands on. If it lands on heads, we'll do the exercise five times. If it lands on tails, we'll do it ten times. And then the second round, the bonus round, will be you're trying to guess if it's going to land on heads or tails, all right? So first round, we'll go through the exercise just one time. On the second round, we'll go through it again. But if it lands on heads, the first round, so if it lands on the blue side, it's going to be worth five. If it lands on tails, the silver side, you have to do the exercise ten times. We'll worry about the other round later. All right, are you guys ready? All right, we're going to work hard today because it's Friday. So, <coughs> excuse me, some of these exercises are going to be a little bit hard. So if you don't have water right now or sneakers on, pause the video. Go get some water. Put on some sneakers. If you're at school, hopefully you have your water bottle with you. And again, my running joke is you're at school. You should have sneakers or boots on or something, right? I know it's raining now a little bit. So hopefully you have something on your feet and come with bare feet or just your socks on. So if you're at home, pause it, go get some water, socks on. If you're at school, just get your water ready. All right, here we go. First round, again, lands on heads. Five, lands on tails, 10 times. All right, first exercise we're gonna do is squat jumps. Let me just get the chair out of the way for a second. So squat jumps, or you squat down, and then you jump up. Squat down, jump up. All right, but let's see how many we're gonna do. All right, here we go, and I'll flip it. Boom, and land it on heads, that's the blue side. So I'll put that down. We're gonna do five, <coughs> excuse me, five squat jumps. And go. One, two, three, four, and five. All right, next exercise we're gonna do, I'll show you from the side, is jumping forward and backwards. Almost like solemn jumps, except you're going forward and back. So it's just here. But we're gonna see how many we're gonna do. Mr. Coin, is it going to be heads or tails? Here we go. Flip, flip, flip. Landed on tails, so we're going to do 10. And every time we come back to the back position, we'll count one. We're not going to go one, two, three, four. It'll be one and two. Okay, ready? And go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Nice job. Next one we're going to do, <coughs> oh my goodness, I can't stop, is invisible jump rope. So just invisible jump rope. Let's see if we can do it for five or 10 seconds. Mr. Coin, are you ready? Yes, I am. Silver, 10 seconds, that's the tail side. All right, grab your invisible jump rope. Oh, you don't have an invisible jump rope? Here, catch. All right, good, now you got your invisible jump rope, and let's go. One, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. All right. Next exercise we'll do is we're gonna do fast ladder climbs. So we're gonna ladder climb, but we're gonna go super fast as we're going. All right, Mr. Coin, tell us what we got. Heads. So we're only gonna do five seconds. It's the blue side is head. So five seconds. Okay, ready and go. One, two, faster. Three. Four, 
and five. All right, next one we'll do is hip abduction. So legs going out to the side. We'll go, we'll challenge ourselves a little bit. So every time we come back and kick this leg out, we'll count it as one. So it'll be like this. One, two, okay? Yeah, all right, Mr. Coy. So let's have, how many we have? Landed on heads. So we'll do five, that was the blue side. Okay, ready and go. One, two, three, four, five. All right, next one we're gonna do is forward kicks. Same thing, every time we come back to this leg, we'll count it as one. All right, Mr. Coy, tell us how many we're going to do. Heads again, so we'll do five. All right, stand up nice and tall and go. And we got one, two, three, four, five. Nice job. Okay, now we're gonna sit down for this next round. We'll do some things sitting in the chair. All right. Here we go. First one we're gonna do is press ups. One of my new favorites, right? Like lifting something super heavy. Okay, boom. Land it on blue. So we got heads there, that is five. Sit up nice and tall, keep your back flat, stomach tight, and go. One, two, three, four, and five. All right, next one we're gonna do, I'll show you from the side, is we're gonna lean, you can lean back in your chair, keep your back nice and flat. It's a little hard to see with the hoodie I got on, but your back is flat. You're gonna pretend you're lifting up something straight to the sky here. Not out in front of you this way, but straight to the ceiling. So it'll look like this. All right, Mr. Coin, tell us how many times we're going to do it. Tails, that's the silver side, so we'll do 10 of those. So we're leaning back. Don't just arch your back down. You wanna keep your back flat. And go, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Nice job. Okie dokie, next one we're gonna do, ooh, I got a lot of new favorites here. The hand press, right? So we're gonna put our hands together, we did this yesterday. One hand's pushing this way, one hand's pushing this way, but they're pushing up against each other. And one of my third graders said, Mr. Meyer, you know what a little tip you could do? Instead of saying just press your hands, you're really pressing at the bottom of your hand because that's where your arms are coming in and that's where you're pressing the hardest. And that's the heel of your palm, right? Because your palm is here, this is the heel of your palm. She said, really push those ones together. Because if you push your fingers, they're just bending, right? They're not doing much. But the strongest part is the heel of your palm. She said, if you push from there, you get a better workout. And I totally agree with her. All right, so here we go, Mr. Coin. Tell us how many seconds we're gonna hold it. He says, blue, that's head, five seconds. Ready and press. One, two, three, four, five. All right, this next one, I gotta get the chair out of the way. This will be the end of round one. We're gonna do the bicycle. So sitting up in a chair and just pretend you can lean back a little bit and pretend you're riding a bicycle. But we gotta ask Mr. Coin how many times we're going to do it. He says 10, because it is silver. All right, get on your bike. Woo, and sit down and go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Nice job. All right, so now we're gonna go on to our bonus round. All right, our bonus round, you are gonna pick heads or tails. So before I flip it, you're gonna guess heads or tails. If you are correct, you only have to do the exercise five times or five seconds. If you're wrong, incorrect, you're gonna do it for 10 seconds or 10 times. But you know me, I'm always gonna do it 10 times with you. If you are right, but you still wanna do it for 10 times, 10 seconds, good. You're gonna become stronger and healthier. So go for it. All right, so let me just give you an example. Let's say we we're gonna do calf raises. In your head right now, think is it gonna be heads or tails? You got it? Okay, you sure? Okay, so I flipped it, it landed on heads because it's on the blue side. So if you said heads, you would have been right, you only have to do the exercise five times. If you were wrong because you picked tails, you have to do it for 10 seconds or 10 times. We'll do 10 calf raises, right? We're not gonna do calf raises. We're gonna go back to the top of the order that we had before. So we start with squat jumps. So right now, 
Think in your head, is it gonna be heads or tails? All right, here we go. You ready, you sure? All right, you have it? Good. Flip, let's see how many squat jumps you're gonna do. What did you pick, heads or tails? If you picked heads, you'll have to do it five times. If you pick tails, you have to do it 10 times. I'm gonna do it 10 times, always. If you wanna join us for 10, you can do 10. All right, here we go, squat jumps. And we're gonna squat and we're gonna jump up high. Ready, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. All right, next exercise we'll do is that second one is those forward and back jumps. All right, in your head right now, start to think, is it going to be heads or tails? Here we go. It is heads again. So if you pick heads, you only have to do five. If you pick tails, you have to do 10. But if you want to join us for 10, join us for 10. All right, so back and forward jumps. Ready, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Woo, starting to sweat a little bit. Next one, invisible jump rope. You don't have your invisible jump rope still? Where did you put it? I gave you an invisible jump rope. All right, I'll give you another one. Ready? Catch. All right, good, good catch. Now, let's see if you are right. Is it going to be heads or tails? You picked it? All right, this is for invisible jump rope. Heads or tails? All right. It, oh, man, heads again. So if you picked heads, five. If you picked tails, 10. But if you want to join us for 10, you can. All right, so you all have your invisible jump ropes. Jumps, jumps ropes. You get that? Jump ropes. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. All right, next one you do is those fast ladder climbs. All right, start thinking right now. Do you think it's going to be heads or tails? Here we go. Heads again. This is incredible. So if you pick heads, five, tails is ten. Woo! All right, here we go, and fast ladder climbs, go. One, two, three, faster. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, next one we're gonna do is hip abduction, kicking out to the side. Start thinking right now, is it going to be heads or tails? And loop. Oh, I did not flip that one well. I went like a, like a saucer. Boop, boom. You gotta be kidding me. It's heads again. <laughs> Heads is five, tails is 10, but you know I'm gonna do 10. Every time we come back here, it counts as one. So here we go. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. All right, next one we're gonna do is forward kicks, right? Start thinking right now, heads or tails. All right, Mr. Coin, are you ready? You're so young. Oh, that's good. Finally, we got tails. All right, so if you pick tails, five. If you pick heads, 10. All right, every time we come back and kick this leg out, it'll be one. So here we go. And one, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Nice job, all right. Now we can sit down in the chair for this next couple of rounds, or next couple of exercises. All right, first one we're gonna do is those press ups like you're lifting something heavy, but Mr. Coin. Oh, wait a second. Did you guys pick heads and tails? You did already? Okay, good. You guys are good. Here we go, and it is back to heads. So if you pick heads, it's worth five. If you pick tails, 10. Sit up nice and straight, grab something really heavy, and go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Good. Next one we'll do is those lean backs, back is straight, and pressing the hands straight up to the ceiling, not forward this way, up to the ceiling. All right, start thinking heads or tails. Did you make your choice? Yes, we did. Oh, okay, great. And yes, I'm talking to myself. 
and flip. So hopefully you made your decision and it's tails. If you pick tails, five. If you pick heads, 10. But if you want to join us for 10, please join us for 10. As right, so sit back, don't slouch. Keep it back nice and flat and go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, Ten. All right, so we're gonna do the hand press, pushing back and forth up against as hard as you can. All right, Mr. Coin, let us know. All right, start picking heads or tails. All right, you got your choice. Ooh, back to heads again. So if you pick heads, five seconds, tails is 10 seconds. And go, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, Ten. All right, last exercise we're gonna do, I'm gonna move this chair back here. We'll do that bicycle ride, right? So you're gonna sit down and pretend you're on a bicycle, but we gotta decide, or you have to decide, is it gonna be heads or tails? Ready? Made your decision? Good. It's tails, so if you pick tails, have five seconds. Heads is 10 seconds. All right, sit on your bike and go. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Awesome job, guys. All right, we need to relax our body. We need to stretch right now. Relax those muscles. Let's start with the hamstring stretch. So put your heel up here. If you don't have a chair or anything, or if you're at home and you want to do figure four stretch instead, you can. If you don't have a chair like that, you don't want to put your foot on it, you can do it like we showed you the other day. Just come in like this. I'm going to do it standing up, though. All right, leg is straight, toes to the sky. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. And let's switch. All right, heel on the chair, or if you're sitting down doing figure four, it's just legs out straight, the other leg is bent. And if you're doing it sitting in a chair, your leg just goes out in front of you. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. All right, let's stretch our quad muscles. Those are big muscles here. And I asked the third grader today, how many are in the quads? How many muscles are in the quads? He was correct, he said four. And then he also said, Mr. Meyer, don't forget the triceps have three. All right, here we go. Leg up behind you, not out to the side. One, two, and again, balance on something. You don't have to try to balance. Hold on to something. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. And switch to the other leg. Put it right behind you. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. All right, I'm just gonna churn, churn, churn my chair. Turn my chair. We do the calf stretch. So we're gonna put one foot out, toes on the ground, heel now goes to the ground, this leg is straight, this leg is bent, and lean forward a little bit. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. And switch to the other leg. So toe, then put your heel to the ground. This leg is straight, this leg is bent. And we're stretching the calf muscle, which is down in here. If you don't feel it pulling that muscle a little bit, lean forward a little bit more, but keep your heel on the ground. Your foot is flat. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. And yes, in case you're wondering, I do play with Legos with my son and daughter every once in a while, or maybe a lot more than that. I love Legos. All right, let's stretch our arms a little bit and then we'll be done for today. So shoulder stretch, one arm out, put it across, give it a hug. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Shake it out, other arm out, put it across, give it a hug. One, two, three, four, 
5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Side neck stretch, put your ear to your shoulder. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, and switch to the other side. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. All right, forward neck stretch. You're going to put your chin to your chest and pull down. Just a little bit of stretch in the back of the neck. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, and twenty. All right, guys, great job. I hope you enjoyed our two throwback days. Next week, we're going to uh, concentrate on racket sports. So we're going to be pretending to hit a ball, right? If you were in fourth grade last year and now you're in fifth grade, if you remember, I had a ball and I used to drop it and used to swing towards the camera. And we did a little bit of tennis last year. So we're going to work on those things next week. You don't need a tennis racket or anything similar to that for next week. We will use things that you have in the house and I'll talk about that on Monday. But if you want to get a jump start on it, you can use a marker, a pencil, a crayon, anything that has like a handle, maybe like a spoon, a spatula, uh, like a paper towel roll. Uh, what else can we use? Anything that's around that size, a toy that's around that size. And if you don't have anything like that, that's okay. You can still join because you can use, as you can see, I'm not using anything right now. And it looks like I'm playing tennis a little bit. All right. So guys, as always, enjoy, stay safe and stay active.